Hello everyone. Welcome to another edition of the PSD to CSS video tutorial series. My name is Sean. Today we're going to be looking at, uh, well we're going to review quickly uh, the basic Drupal uh, support, the ability to make Drupal themes, it's a content manage management system, uh, by drawing a, draw, designing it in Photoshop and uh, using PSD to CSS online to uh, read the Photoshop file and generate all the code that you need for that. I'm also going to show you a new feature a new Drupal feature, and that is custom regions. Uh, by default, Drupal comes with a, a handful of regions for you, and if you want to make your own regions, you have to write some code. But uh, with PSD to CSS Online, you don't have to write any code at all. You just draw it in your Photoshop file, and and uh, PSD to CSS Online generates all the code for you. So let's see how that works. I'll show you. First, we'll uh, look at a pretty simple Drupal template. Uh, this will be the review part. This is a pretty standard, oop, you know what, I need to remove that. There we go. This is a pre pretty standard looking uh, Drupal template, two column. Got uh, the left left column here for login and stuff like that. Drupal wants to fill that in with some specific stuff. And then the main, uh, the content area right here. Um, and so, as usual, let's see if we can take a quick look at the uh, the layer names here. Uh, we have content underscore Drupal is that main center area and left underscore Drupal is the uh, left column uh, those will be those will be filled in with the appropriate code in the theme that's generated um, all this other stuff is just some of the regular uh, PSD to CSS online names some of them are just aren't aren't special at all they're just standard layers uh, but some of them have uh, some of the PSD to CSS online naming convention in place so uh, let's save this I'll save. We'll save it. Saves to my hard drive, my uh, desktop. And uh, let's go ahead and send it off to PST to CSS Online to be uh, converted into a Drupal theme for us. Um, shouldn't take too long. Not a very big theme design. So it's thinking now. Uh, normally, at PST to CSS Online, when you send it. A PSD to be uh, to generate just an HTML file. It gives you a link to preview it here with. But uh, for Drupal, uh, previewing would be difficult. I'd have to install a whole, make a whole Drupal install for every preview. So that's uh, not doable. So you can only download the zip file. Here it is. It makes the whole uh, folder hierarchy that uh, Drupal wants for a theme. So you just download the whole thing like that. And now what we need to do is uh, just copy that into a an existing Drupal install. Here's a, a very simple Drupal install. It's real clean. I've got almost nothing. In, I don't think I have any new modules in it. Um, it's the default uh, theme, of course. Uh, I think I have two stories in there, two simple stories. Uh, so what we're going to do is use uh, this is FileZilla, my FTP program. And I'm already logged into uh, the appropriate spot on my server. So this this may look familiar if you know Drupal at all. That's that's what Drupal, that's a basic Drupal install. That's the full, the root folder for a basic Drupal install. And you can see there's there's already something that Drupal gives us called themes. Right there, a folder for themes. We're, our theme is not going to overwrite any existing themes. It's just going to add a new one. So I'll just grab our themes folder here and copy it uh, into this install. Okay. Put that away. So now what we do as the administrator for for uh, this Drupal install is we go into the themes section. I should have shown you the empty, the, the only default themes earlier, but uh, now you can see that there is a PSD to CSS online theme here. Um, so we want to uh, enable it and make it default. We'll save that configuration and. There we go. So now the uh, the Drupal theme being used is the one that you saw in the Photoshop file. And uh, sure enough, we've got the left column here. And we have the content area there. Um, <clears throat> the content area, uh, because it's a Photoshop file, generally your content area is going to have some fixed size. So by default, we have the uh, scroll bar right here for um, overflow. Uh, you can certainly remove that. There's a, there's a spot to remove that in the CSS. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that, that was that, that's a good example of, uh, 
just getting the uh, a Drupal install in from a Photoshop file. So uh, now what we want to do is use the new feature. That's kind of review. Uh, what we want to do now is use the new feature, and that is to make custom regions. Uh, what we want to do is add a search box right up here, and we're going to make our own region for it. We're not going to use any of the Drupal package prepackaged regions. So we're going to just make our own right there. So let's go back to the uh, Photoshop file. And all we need to do is make a new layer. Just make a box for where we want it to show up. Right about there, say. And the trick, of course, to name this right. And we're going to name it my search underscore Drupal. This is the new feature. You can put anything you want underscore Drupal. And uh, if it's not one of the special ones that Drupal already knows about, it will make a new region by that name. So here I'll even zoom in. So in this case, my search is going to be the new Drupal region, and it's going to write all the code, and it's all going to be ready. And you'll see when we when we go into the uh, Drupal administration, my search will be one of the valid blocks to set uh, one of the re valid regions to put blocks into, and we'll just put a search block into that region. Um, you can still see content underscore left underscore. It's all I didn't change anything else. So let's just go ahead and save that. I just made one layer in a box. That's all I did, and named it. Uh, we'll save it. We'll go back to uh, PST to CSS Online. Let's see here. Go over to the front. We'll find our file and upload it. There we go. It's thinking again. Here, in the meantime, we'll throw away this old themes folder we made. We don't need that anymore. We're going to replace it. Thinking, thinking, thinking. There we go. We'll download the zip file. Put that on our desktop. There we go. Close that. Uh, let's see. Okay, now FTP. We'll just put it in the same place. It'll overwrite the uh, old PSD to CSS online uh, theme. I think I mentioned uh, the first time that it wouldn't overwrite anything. It won't overwrite any of the default themes. It will overwrite the last one from PSD to CSS Online. They have the same name always. So if you want to save one, you want to rename it. Uh, so that is finished. And we'll go and check it out. Now, quite often we need a, a couple of uh, refreshes. Actually, in fact, uh, when you ever change a, a theme in uh, Drupal, you need to, I don't know why, but you need to visit the theme page. And that uh, updates something, I guess. So now we can go to blocks to populate our blocks. And sure enough, there is a block right where we put it in the Photoshop file called My Search. And there's nothing in it yet, but uh, folks familiar with Drupal will know that all we have to do is go down here and find the appropriate uh, block. And it's this one's, these are all the disabled ones that currently don't have any uh, regions assigned to them. So if, here's our search form. We will turn this into, you can see My Search is in the list now. I didn't have to write any code. It's just automatically there and uh, save the blocks and voila there we go there's a search box right exactly where i drew it in the with photoshop didn't have to write any code just installed it again and uh and there we are so here's our stories and our search box is there so there pretty simple uh i hope you have fun with that and thanks